Hi there, Nayase of Lowell, Massachusetts, and I'm on sunbreak right now. But I'm thinking about a comment on Michael Laughlin's channel saying, this is infiltration. What Spigano is doing very clearly, he's trying to create an American Catholic church of the far right, where they will have the smells and bells of Catholicism mimicking the um, traditional Latin mass. And, but none of the sacraments will be valid. Because Vigano is clearly stating that pretty much everything after Vatican II is invalid. So none of the sacraments are invalid, according to Michael Lofton. And so about a year ago, I had a social media breakdown on what was Twitter. Um, I was on Twitter for a long time. I was sharing nice tweets about love, trust, and fidelity. I got caught up in the gender dysphoria issue, but I was always good about staying out of the culture war. I became a victim of libs of TikTok. I have a video about that. And I kind of, I had to go to therapy about that because it was so damaging what she did to my community based on something I shared that was tagged by somebody else. And then, you know, three or four steps later, got into her hands. So infiltration and it's occurring. I'm going to find a video, um, a news article about the connections between like Steve Bannon and Vigano that, you know, like you see this thing about Project 25 and it's like this authoritative theocracy, but it's not Catholic. And I want to make sure that this is not Catholicism. What these people on the far right are promoting is not Catholicism because Catholicism is about always having free will to love. We cannot live in an authoritative state. Catholicism cannot exist in an authoritative state. It has to live in a free state where we always have that freedom to love or unfortunately not to love because that's how humans work. You know, and like I bring up the Saint, Saint Zelie Martin, the mother of um, Saint Teresa of Little Flowers. Saint Zelie, she was an independent, financially independent woman who still controlled her finances when she got married and when as a mother she controlled her own business and that's a patron saint of working mothers and you know every family is going to be different like I was a stay-at-home mom and I would like to transfer back into having a career but, you know and it's really difficult in this economy it's really difficult these far varieties aren't really addressing the predicaments that young adults are in we need good jobs we need housing housing to come down the prices and also the increase of housing stock we don't want to be renters have you ever seen like it's a wonderful life that movie it was such a wonderful movie it just captured everything that's wonderful about america you know and I have a background. I was a political science major. I went to law school. I passed the bar, even though it's like a far way back in my rearview mirror that time. You know, I can get stuff, but there's an infiltration of dark money that is trying to separate one Catholics from the Catholic Church and also conservatives pushing them so far right. And this money is not of good intent. Like you see how Elon Musk bought Twitter to make it this far right echo chamber. And Elon Musk has no good intentions. You see him wearing a devil costume. I have videos about that. And I kind of wish that kind of got a lot more traction. But yes, there is an infiltration when, <laughs> unfortunately, when your friends who lean left saying, hands made tail, hands made tail, going for a freaking hands made tail. It's somewhat, honestly, going there. And it's scary as practicing faithful Catholics we are not, we are one of free will, we are of love, and yes, it's difficult, and yes, it's messy, and we just can't snap our fingers and have like a utopian, what, like pleasant bill, right? We have to deal with the messes, we have to be so joyful, so full of love, and just have hearts as big as the world as, as Catholics. We can't be demanding love, we can't force love, love it can't, isn't a political ideology, it's just... It just, as I say, you have hearts as big as the world. That's the only way you can fight this infiltration of authoritative control that is being implemented and trying to cause a schism in this Catholic Church. And also, you see it as the polarizing culture war um, in America. They're misusing and perverting the Bible. Like in Oklahoma, the superintendent of education is like perverting the Bible. Um, you know, forcing 
the Bible teachings on public school, but it doesn't come from a place of joy or for love. It's authoritative. It's using the teachings of Jesus as a way to control people. And that's not what Jesus wants, right? It has to be something of pure free will. And that's like when I talk about my video about, you know, myself about you have to make Catholicism about you and only you. You can't force Catholicism ultimately on others. So you have to have a heart as big as a world where people are going to say like, oh my goodness, look at, I want to be that saint. I want to be so joyful and so amazing. Like, just look at the lives of the saints. They're so amazing. Who wouldn't want to be a saint, right? You might end up dead because nice people who are saintly and holy and do wonderful things, the authoritative people always try to kill them. But I love you all. Take care.